We're here at day two of the American Graphene Summit in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill. I'm joined here by Jean Ann Corvia of the University of Texas at Austin. Jean Ann, thanks for joining. Thank you. Happy to be here. Excellent. So I was hoping maybe you could start by just telling us a little bit about some of the work that's going on at uh, University of Texas around graphene. Yeah, so um, like I said in, in our meeting just now, uh, we in the whole system of the University of Texas have mm -hmm. one of the largest portfolios of graphene and 2D material related patents. And so uh, we have a large history of working on these emerging materials. Sure. And it ranges from, I work in nanoelectronics, and um, so related to applying these materials sure. to more energy efficient computing. Uh, but then there's also a lot of work going on in medicine applications, and also in um, mechanical engineering, and also fundamental physics, which will eventually translate into new new technologies. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, we just saw the uh, announcement of the Graphene Academic Council from the National Graphene Association where you were joined by colleagues on stage. I was hoping maybe you could just talk about what that means not only for the research um, institutions but also for industry and, and the graphene um, industry as a whole here in the U.S. Yeah, so I'm excited to be part of this council because I think we're at a very uh, important point in time now where graphene and 2D materials have been around for 10 to 15 years and we're now really starting to see them transition from the lab to things that everyone's seeing every day. And I see this more and more. I see like, oh, there's the graphene in a shoe, there's graphene <laughs> in cars. Yeah. And so um, I think that our purpose is to be that bridge between mm -hmm. academia, industry, and the public. And so as we go forward, we can continue to innovate and continue to see this more smoothly transition into the lives of everybody. Excellent. And uh, it certainly is an exciting time to be in graphene here. Um, you know, could you talk about what the National Graphene Association's been able to do? We've heard, you know, how they've moved quickly in getting all the stakeholders together, but specifically here on Capitol Hill and to have the presence of senators um, all hearing these discussions and, and bringing these problems to the table, what does that mean for the industry research? Uh, yeah, so I think what we really want is to see a push and a movement in the U.S. to be leaders mm -hmm. in graphene and 2D materials. Uh, as other countries are moving forward and, and trying to take on these leadership roles. And we really think that since this is such an exciting uh, new material class that's going to be impacting so many different areas that we want to make sure that we are at the forefront of this. And so that, that's the main mission of, of, of the council. Excellent. And uh, last question here. What are, what are a couple things you hope to see coming out of today's event specifically? Maybe some, some uh, things we can see coming out of the industry. Yeah, so uh, I think that the main goal today is to educate us on what industry is doing. And I'm also getting educated um, because I end up, I'm in the lab all the time. I don't actually get these chances to see these amazing progress that industry is making as well, uh, bringing things to market related to like graphene. Like Ford Motor Company. Like Ford, today. for example. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, and then also all the electronics industries as well, like, yeah. like Samsung and mm -hmm. Intel, IBM. I know they all have active projects in 2D materials and graphene. And so um, education of, of, of both the scientists and the non-scientists mm -hmm. uh, and everyone here in D.C. Awesome. Gina, thanks so much. Yes, no problem.